We are backstage in Abu Dhabi and I am joined by the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, Khabib. How did it feel to get your hand raised here in Abu Dhabi with that crowd that just loved you? Uh, right now I, I, I have a lot of feeling, you know, it's like because my father here, you know, it's like all my family here, my friends, everybody here, like without Ali. But this is make me a little bit upset, but he know we love him and uh, I win this fight, I finish this opponent, you know, it's a very tough opponent and, uh, you know, uh, feeling good. Before we get into the fight itself, you know, you mentioned your family. Did, did anything feel different in the lead up today to the fight because you had so many people here for you? Before fight, uh, I feel great, but when I go to the octagon, I feel a little bit pressure. Like I, yes, I feel a little bit pressure because it's like a lot of people here. You know, it's like very my close people. I, first time I see a lot of uh, my close people uh, uh, around the uh, octagon. You know, and that's why I feel a little bit pressure. But in, inside the octagon, I control everything. I feel his power. I feel his uh, speed. Everything. You know. I can wrestling with him, I can stand with him, I can do everything, but only one thing push me, Coach Javier all the time tell me, father plan, father plan, <laughs> and my mind think, my mind think, hey, I want to stand with him, please let me coach, you know, but coach all the time, go, let's go father plan, father plan, rest with him, you know, but all my life, you know, I improve working on my boxing, striking, kicking, everything, I want to show this, but these guys don't let me, you know. <laughs> Well, listen, you're very good at the grappling, so I understand why they want you to always take it to the canvas. What did you think about Dustin in there as an opponent, though? I mean, you've now faced 28 men in mixed martial arts. None of them have been able to defeat you, but how does he stack up amongst the ranks? Dustin is a great guy, very good opponent, you know. He's, uh, he can beat a lot of guys in lightweight division, my opinion, and he already beat, you know. I have so much respect him, you know. He's a family man, you know. He do a lot of charity stuff, you know. I respect him like fighter, like opponent, like human being, you know. And uh, end of the day, this is sport. And when we go to the cage, we try to smash each other. Yeah, and you ultimately got him to tap, just like you said you would in the third round. He was threatening, though, with his jujitsu. He was doing everything that he could. I mean, how close were those submission attempts? Uh, uh, when he tried to choke me? It was a little bit close, but I control everything, you know. It's like, I feel he, lo he lose a lot of power on this. I feel this, you know. And uh, after this choke, when he can't me choke me, when he can choke me, I think he's done. Yeah, and you ultimately then ended the fight there in the third round. Um, and then you put on his shirt, Khabib. That was really nice of you. You mentioned that you're going to auction it off for charity. Is that something you thought about beforehand? Is that something that just came to you in the octagon? And, and why did you think it was important to do? Uh, because we're famous, first of all. We have money and uh, we have to help people because not many people have money, not many people famous, but around the world we have a lot of people who don't have like even like drink, you know, like water or something like this. I know I hear about Hido some chari charity stuff and uh, I take this t-shirt and I'm gonna sell this and I'm gonna send this money for him and he can use this money for charity stuff whatever he want you know and, like even if you make one kid happy it's gonna be big honor for me. Khabib you're a champion both in and out of the octagon that's really nice of you to do I know this is a hard question to answer but I have to ask it um, what do you believe the future looks like? I know you want to take a little bit of downtime, but do you believe Tony Ferguson is next? Do you want to take a long layoff? I mean, what are your uh, initial thoughts right now? Next is Coca-Cola with ice <laughs> and, and some steaks with burgers, you know? It's like, I'm very hungry. So am I. Thank you. Are you hot? Huh? Did you feel the heat uh, in the lead up to this fight? This, you know, humidity and heat in, here in Abu Dhabi? I don't understand question, sorry. Was it too hot and humid for you? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's too hot here. But it doesn't matter, like people to, talking before the fight, inside the arena, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be, it's like, like whatever they say, I say, hey, it's gonna be not only for me, it's gonna be for my opponent too. If he can fight, I can fight all night too, you know. I don't worry about this. But right now, I want a little bit enjoy, please. Yeah. Enjoy, eat your burger, eat Thank your you. steak. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you, so you again. Thank Appreciate you. it.